Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor with you. Bitwig Studio, Advanced Concepts, and uh, not really sure what the title this one. Just going to start chatting and show you what I came up with. But as a precursor, be sure and check out the Ableton Live video that I just put up, I think, a couple days ago or yesterday. I think, yeah, I think it was yesterday, about um, using adaptive verb and how to mine the reverb, like how I was using it to uh, record samples and make different uh, impulse response kind of reverb sounds. Anyhow, I recorded a bunch of those, created a folder, converted it all over to waves. Uh, real easy stuff, took me probably like 20 minutes, maybe, maybe an hour at most. But uh, we've got Bitwig open, and we're gonna look at a couple things here. So first I'm gonna show you the sound that I've come up with using convolution reverb in Bitwig. So let's just go over that real quick here. So I'm going to play this uh, Rob Papin blue patch. It's just a preset mellow blue, one of the pads. And it's just a chord structure I have here. Let's take a listen. So pretty cool, nice little patch, nice little pad. But let's go ahead and mute this guy. And I'll show you what I was able to do using convolution reverb here in Bitwig. So let's just solo this one. This is the same exact preset, mellow blue. Everything's the same except what we've got going on here, which I'll show you in just a second. But listen to the dramatic difference on how lush and full using this convolution reverb technique. So hopefully, if you're listening on studio speakers, you're able to hear that kind of heavier bass, kind of real full bottom end to that to that pad, which is kind of non-existent in the original. So if I unmute that, unsolo that, and I dial this back a little bit, together, we've got this big, just warm pad sound that kind of almost puts its arms around you and hugs you and makes you feel really good. Let's take a listen together. So just to show you, on this channel, we've got blue, and then I've got um, Blue Cat's patchwork, and I'll show you how that's set up. But on the original, there's no EQ. It's just simply blue, you know, the, the synth itself. I don't want you to be confused that there's any special EQ work going on at play here. It's just simply the way I've got this set up. So let's take a look at it. Open up Blue Cat. So Blue Cat, the patchwork, allows us to bring in you know, we can add rows and stuff like that. You can, you guys can probably find some videos on this. I'm not really going to explain Blue Cat in too much detail, but it allows me to bring in audio units. So therein lies one of the things that Bitwig, typically you're working through VSTs and a shortcut or a quick workaround to bring in audio units if you prefer to work with them. I personally do, being on a Mac, I prefer to work with the audio units. Uh, one for the just the fact that it's going to be a little bit less stress on the CPU and a lot of the waves and different plugins that I use, I prefer to use in the audio unit format just because of the way it works with the computer and just the way it, I feel like it performs better and, and, and all those fun things. Don't really want to describe that too much, but anyhow, if you're 
looking for opportunities to bring in audio units that you have that you're, you're noticing Bitwig Studio won't, won't let you open up, Blue Cat's patchwork is a way to do that. Once you have it installed, what you can do is you click here, and this little menu comes up and it allows you to load a VST, load an audio unit. And you can, you know, map it and do whatever you want and all kinds of really cool stuff. But for this particular setup, we've got Waves IR. Move this guy down, get it out of the way here. And the reason I've got this is it's my favorite convolution reverb. So that's allowing me to bring in my own sounds and pretty much, you know, use them as that warm, bassy kind of reverb sound that we were hearing. I've got a little bit of the low end trimmed down, you know, a little bit of the mid pushed up and just a touch on the high there. And, you know, just down 4 dB on the output. So I'll solo that again. So with the Waves IR, what I've done there is I, you can just simply, now that I've mined all those sounds from the uh, previous video, like I said, if you want to take a look at it, you can. Um, what I've done is I mined all those sounds out of the adaptive verb that I liked and different structures to the way that sounded. And I just simply go to load and then I select import impulse response file, which is simply a wave file. So... Um, it's going right here because I was, I've was i been working on it. It goes right to the f file that I've selected, but essentially on my desktop, adaptive verb samples, IR samples, and these are all just my own sounds I created, you know, just um, working through a variety of different stuff with Ableton um, to get that all running. I could have done it in Bitwig, I suppose, but I chose Ableton just to have some variety to the videos here on the channel. But I just went ahead and named a bunch of, you know, silly ones, anything that had deep bass or anything like that. I put bass in front of it, but just made up my own names for them and created a bunch of little files here. Let's take a listen to, for example, what one sounds like by itself. And you can see they're just short maybe four to 10 second little pieces of sound, but they're all run through the adaptive verb to get that, that verb sound that it offers, which is extremely unique. So now I'm taking these. So I'm taking these sounds and I've stored them into this folder here and it allows me to select those, whatever I want, and put it in here back into the uh, Waves um, IR1. And you can see this one's fan blowing me in the air. I just named it whatever I felt it should be. And we've got this wonderful, you know, natural reverb sound that I've created that's unique to me that helps me develop a sound that I want in my productions that doesn't sound like the standard reverbs that are offered by the DAW itself. So there you have it, convolution reverb in full effect. Like I said um, a couple times already, if you're not sure how I put together the sounds to make my own, go ahead and watch the previous video, Ableton Live um, Adaptive Verb. I think it says something like mining reverb sounds or something like that. Feel free to check it out. And then you'll kind of get the idea of where everything came from and then Maybe I'll try to find a link for the Blue Cat patchwork or the Blue Cat team here and put a link in the description below if you're interested in looking at um, acquiring the Blue Cat um, plugins and, and Blue Cat patchwork stuff because this is extremely helpful here in Bitwig as far as bringing in audio units or VSTs. Um, 
give you a quick look at it here. You can find some videos on YouTube all about it, but you can add, you know, multiple rows here. And you can kind of combine and parallel chain and just put together all kinds of really cool stuff right here within this patchwork plugin. So it's just one one way of maybe defeating the fact that you can have the effects layer or just another way to work around stuff. But I specifically for myself find it helpful in just essentially bringing in audio units here to uh, Bitwig. Thanks for watching. Thanks for push and play as always. Uh, you guys have a great day. Hopefully I'm able to teach you something new here. And uh, talk to you soon. Peace.